Zimbabwe and Nigeria have locked horns with Tesla and other EV manufacturers, saying that they no longer want to export lithium for them to produce their batteries with. Instead, they want the batteries to be produced domestically in Africa. Let me talk about what's happening, why it's happening, and what opportunities exist for you as an investor going forward. First, the backstory. Lithium use in the world has exploded over the past 10 years, with the amount produced annually increasing from 25,000 tons to over 85,000 tons. And four countries have produced most of this lithium. That's Australia, Chile, Argentina, and China. However, they don't have enough production to meet the growing demand in the world. So a lot of the EV manufacturers are trying to get this raw resource from Africa. And they were expecting Africa to just say, hey, take what you want, just cut us back in. They weren't expecting multiple African countries to tell them, no, you can't take our resources. You have to build your batteries domestically. So why are African leaders like President Mnangagwa making such a firm stance? It comes down to their goals with their economy. Many of these African countries don't want to simply be places to extract raw resources from. They want to be places where value is added. Now, if we're looking at lithium production, the total value chain has six distinct parts with regards to EVs. You start with mining, then you go to refining of the resources, cathode production, cell production, module assembly, and eventually making your own OEM cars. And Africa wants to have as much of that done domestically because each phase of that has support industries and creates jobs for everybody and creates more wealth, more velocity of money, etc. That's the real game plan. Instead of just getting a quick buck, they want to create something that creates wealth more sustainably. Now, in reality, we don't know how much lithium Zimbabwe, Nigeria, or the Central African countries actually have because the terrain hasn't been scouted out because the demand is relatively new. But I love the change in mindset where the African countries are looking to create industries where value is added domestically. Now, what does that mean for you as an investor? I think it means that you should be very bullish on these African economies because as they start to do more and more manufacturing, more value added, you're going to see an emerging middle class throughout the entire continent. And the African countries aren't going to have to do this alone. Countries like Turkey and Saudi Arabia have engineers throughout the continent that are going to expedite the learning curve for the manufacturing industries that are growing in these new economies. And to me, this is reminiscent of what happened in China in the 1980s. When I was growing up, China was thought of as a poor, underdeveloped country. Yet, by maintaining manufacturing and value added within their borders, China quickly grew within three decades from a poor kind of third world country to a manufacturing superhouse with the biggest economy in the entire world. But I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys bullish on the African economy and their ability to do manufacturing? Let me know why or why not in the comments below. And as always, if this video has provided value to you, give me a like and a follow. That really helps out my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.